When I wrote this song, it inside my love for Minnie Riperton, uh, she asked me, she says, do you have anything that we could say that kind of straddles the fence? I said, to go no further, I got an idea. Interestingly enough, when the song was released uh, and headed up the charts, <clears throat> I heard a DJ description of the song. And I stopped the car, I pulled it aside, and I actually called him something that I won't use in this room. But it was really disappointing that I actually, after I cussed him, then I smiled because it was 100% uh, um, our, our, our feeling that when we finished the song, uh, the sentiment of the song is, uh, won't you come inside me, will you come inside me, will you take a ride inside my love? However, listening to it, most people took it as what it was. Once you come inside me, will you take a... Uh, meaning the ejaculation or the orgasm that we do when we get to have that moment. However, what I meant, it came from me being a little boy in church, hearing the preacher say, once you come, once you come inside the Lord. And I took that with me all my life. And in fact, that particular phrase, as a kid I say to people, was so compelling that when I thought that that was coming up at the end of the sermon, I left the room. <laughs> I didn't want to hear it because it made you want to come. However, the meaning, being a, uh, let's say an entendre, which I do that constantly, I love that, having two meanings in one, or several meanings, uh, letting the individual that's listening adapt to that meaning that means something to them, which is a very strong, I think it's, one of the strongest things you can do as a writer is to give your listener or the people that are working with you the, the option to take their, their particular view of what you're saying in your message.